Hello, I'm Dave Berube, Principal Consultant with Lifecycle Engineering. Today we're going to talk about management of change versus change management. In business, we constantly experience change. Change in regulations, customers, and technology. To survive as a business and grow, we must effectively manage change. Now, when dealing with change, there are two terms that are often used, misused, and misunderstood. The first one is management of change, which sometimes you've heard as configuration change management or change control. And another term is change management. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at these two very different structured processes. Now, let's take a look at our first structured process, the management of change process. The management of change process is for technical changes. Now, some typical steps in the process are change risk analysis. We need to analyze the risks of this change. How will it affect my customers? Will there be a return on investment? Is there a cost associated with this? Are there side effects? I have to have some amount of review and approval. Do I have the proper skill and level of authority to review and approve this change? We must also test and validate the change, kind of debug it, make sure it works properly, possibly use it in a pilot area before we roll out and implement. After we roll out and implement, I need to do a post-implementation review. Did I achieve the benefits that I set out to achieve? Did I hit any of those risk triggers that I saw in my analysis? And the last thing is to document. I must document my changes. I must update any documentation such as drawings, procedures, and manuals. Our next process is the change management process. The change management process deals with the people side of change. We use this process when we're asking people to do something differently, when we need to change the behavior of people. The first step in this process is also to analyze the risks, except now we're looking at the risks associated with the people. How does this change affect the people in this process? To do that, we also need engaged leadership. Leaders can't just sit on the sidelines and delegate their role. We need them actively involved in this process. We have to communicate. When you communicate, you want to communicate early and communicate often. Training and coaching. I've got to train and coach my employees in the new process. I've got to go out there and look for gaps. I've got to get their feedback. What's working? What's not working? Find out and then close those gaps. And the last one is I need to reinforce behavior and I need to appropriately reward it. I've got to get those processes to be sustained and become a part of their daily life. To effectively manage change, we must manage both the technical side of change using the management of change process and the people side of change using the change management process. For more information on this topic, please read my article, Will the Real Change Management Please Stand Up? Or contact us at info at lce.com.